All right, I'm gonna show you how to make a clutch cable restraint strap. And so what I did, I just took some wire and uh, actually a Powerade cap, honestly. It's just rigged, but I used an X-Acto knife, cut it out around it so it could fit around the cable and wrap the wire around it on each side. And then you wrap it around these little tabs right here for the automatic adjusting clutch cable. You know, put it on there, slide it on, and then do it tight on each side. And it's all set. So that's how you make the clutch cable restraint strap. Alright, so we're going to be replacing the clutch, so what you'll want to do is you're going to want to remove these bolts that hold on to this guard right here, splash guard. They're 10 millimeters, 10 millimeter bolts, and then next what we're going to do is remove the starter. I mean after you release the clutch, after you use that tool I made. So next, just click this, this was 13. Our steering line. So now we're going to remove the starter right there. All right. So now that we remove the starter, you should be you should look like that now. And you always want to make sure you disconnect the battery. Um, so now, now we're basically next. What we're going to do underneath here is right here by the axle. So that's what we're going to do next. We release all the other ones back side here so the rest are going to be on the top side all right so what we're going to do next is we have to take the axles out so you have to renew remove the axle nut there and then find this cover right here we're going to remove these all right so i just went ahead and removed the axle nuts and what they are, they are a triple square. So they're like that. So they're 12 points. This is what the bit looks like. Alright, it's M8 is the size. Do not use a Torx bit on these, otherwise you will strip them out. You do not want to do that. Alright, so after you pull all these out, and you got the axle nut, what you want to do is remove three bolts right here and the brake on. And what I used was just a hammer to get the axle to pull it out, to loosen it. You can use an axle puller, but the hammer should work as long as you're not too hard on it, because if you're too hard on it, you'll bend the edges and the axle nut will put it back on. But yeah, you just pull the brake out and then the axle will fall out. All right, so next, to remove this passenger side axle, we're gonna have to remove this little block here. And to remove this block, um, you'll need a 13 millimeter socket. You have to put a socket and then a 13 millimeter wrench because there's a bolt head at the top of the block that you have to put a wrench onto. All right, so the next bolt we're gonna get is this one right here. There was a ground strap connected to that we just removed. Which is right here. To remove the ground strap, and then you'll get this. Okay, let's see him. And it's a 19. And it is located right there. Just so they can kind of see. Alright, so next what you're going to want to do is get rid of, uh, you're going to disconnect the shift linkage. Right here, the little pin, and there you just have to undo. And then behind the shift linkage there is the motor mount. The motor mount is what you want to get off, which is the 17 millimeter. Alright, so just got to remove the transmission there. So one thing that you'll want to do is what I was holding up the transmission was this shift linkage bracket. There's three bolts holding it together, two on the back side, one from the top. And so you want to make sure you unbolt that so that's freely moving. And also when removing the transmission, you want to twist it up, pull out, and then it will drop down. Alright, so then you're going to remove the actual clutch, which there is these guys, which is a 129 millimeter socket. Make sure you use a 12 point, not a 6 point, otherwise you'll strip it out. Um, but yeah. You can see where all the holes are. 
All right, so the next thing you want to go ahead and do is the pressure plate right here. In order to get the pressure plate off, there's a little snap ring right here. So you're going to basically pull it, loosen it, take this little metal flap off. And then you got these, which I'm using an impact gun to get them off, which are 17 millimeters. All right, so then once you get to this part, once you release all the bolts, there's this little spacer thing. Make sure you take that off so you don't lose it. So these are the bolts that are 17 millimeters. And then this is sitting on there, you just have to wedge it off. It's probably gonna be pressed on there, kinda of tight. So you just got the wiggle it off and it'll just fall right off. All right, so here's the new pressure plate. And then what you wanna go and do is put the shim back on. It only clips on one way, so make sure you do put it back on. And then put the bolts back on. This will just sit on there. So then you can just put these on. All right, so when you put these on here, so the shim, no you are going to need a torque wrench and the torque specs oh, so are 44 foot pounds. Side. All right, so like I said, you're gonna do these 44 foot pounds with the torque wrench and you just wanna kinda of make sure you do it in a star pattern. So go here, 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 and then here. And for me to hold it in, I just put a screwdriver through here and it was holding up against the block there so that way it didn't twist while tightening. That's the easy way to do it. All right, so we're gonna put the cover on to the pressure plate here. So Make sure this part is pushed in. And kind of line it up like such, like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put the snap ring underneath these little slots and then hold the ends in those little holes. All right, so once you get that snap ring in there, it's all stuck. Snug, make sure it is underneath every clip here and in there in the set holes. Also, when putting the flywheel on, there's a little uh, key right here, you just, so it only fits on one way, so make sure you do get that in the correct way. Alrighty, so here is the flywheel, and what you want to do is clean it up, especially right here. Um, use the brush to go ahead and take all this shit off, and uh, use a wire brush, skimmed all this off, and then use some brake clean to clean it off. And then what you want to do with the clutch, the replacement clutch, is you're going to put the part that's pushing more outside. In like that, and we're gonna put it on. All right, so we're gonna to to put the clutch back on. So you kind of slide it on. There is a little uh, set, kind of like a set screw in there, where the flywheel only fits on one way. And so with these bolts here, you're gonna to want to replace them. These were the old ones. All point. Um, they need to be torqued down to 22 foot pounds. And then I just went in a star pattern. All right. So the next thing that we did was the clutch kit came with some input shaft grease so make sure you lube that up with the kit and then we also repacked the axle hubs there uh, you don't have to do that unless it really needs it so now we're going to go ahead and put it in so make sure everything's out of the way such as this bracket that we took off and all connectors just so it makes it clean so you're not going to be struggling and i suggest using two people 